Hello and welcome to how to play Fortnite. Step 1, open up Fortnite, obviously. The application, that's how you play the game. Put it on solo. That's the key. Now we're gonna open it up. Open, 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 bah. Boom. There we go, it's opened up. Bada bang. Click solo. There you go, don't do any of the rest. Well, that's cool. That's cool. These are all cool. This is the best. I don't do the Infinity War. Okay, it's not time for that. You press play. Show you how to do it. It's how you win every Fortnite match. Guaranteed top, I don't know, 10, 20? Somewhere in the high numbers. That's guaranteed. Um, we're about to see it once you win the match. We gotta wait for a bit. That's the problem with this game. There's a lot of waiting. I don't like waiting. But if you want to win, you gotta wait. And that's the key. It shows you in the beginning and the end how to wait into the win. And we're gonna show you how to do that. Real quick. Not real quick, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. Honestly, it's gonna take a it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a long, long time. In the meantime, I'm just gonna break some bushes. Actually, I really know the signs. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you may think, oh it's just goofing up. I have a solid strategy. Solid. Solid. There's no way it's spoofer. Spoof in. So you mark where you're going on the map. Right here. That's where you're marking. Right, right somewhere over there. Over. And then you wait. You wait. That's right. That's right. You may have already figured it out, but it wins every time without firing a single, single SMG round. Specifically, because that's sort of like the cheat right now. <laughs> For some of us, uh, it's hard to get that. So, you know, in your free time when you've gone to Tilted Towers like 25 times trying to get the SMG kill. You find a new way to win the game without actually playing the game. It's amazing. It's like a hack, a cheat. You know, the key, the crucial key is watching the map and then fall timer on the far right over there by the 99. Wait till it gets to double zero. Double zero. Just face your camera backwards and jump. Alright, the last second. And deploy a parachute. Get straight up as soon as you can and just glide the exact opposite way of the bus for the whole match. And there you go. You even now you don't have to do the whole match, but you can just glide up here until you see the circle, then pick your area where you want to land. Guarantee no one's gonna grab all the guns on the ground, and you can easily get a green or blue, especially gray. They'll leave grays at jump change, so as they like to say. So yeah, we're just gliding across. You can glide across the whole map. I found that out. I didn't think that was possible. I figured you'd drop off or something once you hit the space bar. Now, there might be a slower way if you just don't press space bar. Just, you know, face up and just, like, free fall. But I think you still drop at an expanded rate. The glider, I think, slows you down the most. But yeah, you can still across the whole map. See when the timer of the, uh, up there, top right, the little mini-map. It's a crucial part of this. That mini-map with the timer and everything, and the devs, you can see them as they're tolling down to the tower. It's three minutes. Now, this is a different tactic than the, um, hide tactic, where you just run and hide, go to the edge of the map, work your way in slowly, surely, be a sur survivor. I mean, this game is about surviving. I mean, sure, you can shoot each other, you can do that in any game, Call of Duty, whatever, but it's about building and surviving. Those are the two factors to it, besides the shooting, which most games have. So, but there's another aspect, is gliding, no one's even thought of. You can just glide the whole round. Now, I'm not going to show you some crazy sick gameplay. I'm not here for that. <laughs> We're not here for that. We're just here to sail. Uh, I actually need to tilt my little glider a little to the left. As you can see, that marker helped out that I need to glide a little to the left. We do know where the circle is, and we, we're going to glide back towards it. We're just going to glide to the other side of the map just to show that you can glide across the whole map in the ocean if you want to die real quick. It's up to you. I, it, there's no height. That's the only problem I have with this game. You don't know how high you are. Because you're not, you know, to glide great, you want to you wanna be, um, we just make a bin around the... Uh, you want to know how high up you are on the, you know, this little chart over here on the right where the map is to see, like, oh, well, how much, how long do I have to fall on up in the air like this? Now, as you can see, the space bar has disappeared. That is an indicator that I'm running out of time and trees are flying by me. Uh, we have passed the mountain, so we might as well look and see where we're at. Oh, okay, a little town. No one's been here, I think. Didn't this town just have stuff in there? Or, like, used to be a town? Yeah, it looks like a run-down town. No one's here. Right, so. oh. And that's how you play Fortnite, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you play. 
Place 36. <laughs> Didn't even see the trap on the floor. <laughs> so there was people there and those were explosions. I was like, that town doesn't look familiar. I don't remember if it was run down before, but idiom, that's how you do it. Thank you, John Mike.